something I see so often that happens with entrepreneurs, especially those that have been in business for a while, is that they start to lose their, lose their motivation, lose their drive to push their business forward, to get it moving in the direction and keep it moving in the direction that they, that they want it to, that they need it to. And we, 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 me too, also included in that, tend to uh, to lose some of that motivation, lose some of that drive over time. And I want to give you three real quick tips today that can help you keep that drive alive, so that you can realize the potential that you have in your business. I want you to better stay hungry, stay motivated, stay driven, no matter what's going on outside your life, inside your life, around you, with employees, with customers, <clears throat> with anything that's going on. I want you to keep your drive, keep your drive alive so that your business can continue moving forward in, in the direction you want it to. You know, the word uh, potential is a Latin phrase, um, and really what it means is to turn, to, to, uh, to, take, to, to make what is possible into reality is what I really want you to do. So potential is that which is possible. It's, it's uh, Latin for power or might or force or authority or influence. So all those pieces of power, might, force, authority, influence in your life are your potential, especially when it comes to your business, the power in your business, the might that your business can exert in the market, the force with which you can move forward, the authority that your business demands because it is truly the um, the answer to so many people's problems and the influence that you exert with your clients. Those are all the potential that your business has. So how do you turn that potential into reality, into what is actual, into what is substantial into what is actually existing presently. Well, I want to go over three quick ways that you can do that. The first first thing I want you to do is to know that you have to identify the potential that your business has. So the first step of this is to take it and and, and really um, onboard this potential that your business has into your brain, into your mind, into your heart, into your soul, into who you are. And the way to do that is to Identify the potential that's out there in your marketplace or in your business, and then and involve as many senses in onboarding that information. And this is what I'm talking about. So what I want you to do is go and look around you, around in your business, around you. Even you can use this in your personal life as well. Go around you and identify what others have achieved. So for business, um, when I when I'm doing this exercise, I'll go and look at businesses who are being more successful than mine is. I'll go look at the size of the buildings. I go look at the number of employees. I, I check out the website. I check out um, employee benefits. I'll look at, at reviews, Facebook pages, anything I can find, any kind of research I can do on a company that I know is doing better than ours. I realize that that is a potential that my business could eventually eventually achieve. So what I'll do is I'll write those things down. So if you can, go write down 10 of the potential things that your business can reach, 10 things that your business can achieve. And if you want some help doing this, you can go to drivingforcemastermind.com and click the red button, jump on a call with our master growth strategist, and he can actually walk you through this exercise as well. It's part of what we want to do to help you grow your business. So identify your potential. Go and see what is going on in other businesses. See what they're doing. Look at their building, their website. Look at their employees. See what their uniforms are going on. See what they're doing. If you want some help doing this, you can go to drivingforcemastermind.com. We'll give you a hand doing this uh, uh, when we speak on the phone. Now that you've identified those things, that's not your potential. That's just what you see in the market. What I want you to do now is I want you to realize that I want you to also identify what is your true highest potential in those areas. So take, for instance, if you looked at another business and you saw they had a, I don't know, a 30,000 square foot building and yours only a 3,000 square foot building. So size of business. But is that really your true potential? Going from three to 30,000 square foot in your building? Or is your potential going from 3,000 to 30,000, then to a 300,000 square foot facility, and maybe even a 3 million square foot facility? Does your business, do you, does, do, 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 is your highest potential much higher than you even see out there in the market? I bet it is. I bet when you realize that. Your potential is not limited by what you see others accomplishing. Your potential is limited by what you can accomplish. So what I want you to do is to also write down in those areas that you just identified what your highest potential is, what you know in your soul that you can achieve when you put your full effort into it, when you put your full drive into it. So do this. Write down 10 things in your surroundings that you see others have accomplished. Then in those 10 areas, 
Look at what you know that you can accomplish that's even so much larger, so much bigger, so much more potential than what you've seen around you. And write those things down. The next step, what I want you to do is I want you to visualize that. I want you to in, uh, put that in your head regularly. So on a, on a daily basis, I want you to be able to see what that potential is. So then, now that you've written down what that potential is, what your potential is in those 10 areas, I want you to take and find some images. Go online, do some research. Find images that represent those 10 areas in your own life, your potential, not what you see around you. Find 10 images of things that you know that you can achieve for your business or even your personal life in this case. So now you'll be able to see what your true potential is on a regular basis and put it somewhere. Put it in a folder on your computer. If you want to print it out, keep it right next to you in a little notebook or something, do that. But I want you to be able to be constantly reminded what your potential is, what you can take action and achieve. That's the second thing. If you need some help doing that, you can go to drivingforcemastermind.com, walk through the steps with our master growth strategist, and he'll show you exactly how to do that for yourself. And then third, I really want you to take on board all this information. I really want you to ingrain that potential that you have into your very fiber. So what you're going to do is, and that's going to feel uncomfortable, but but hear me out. What I want you to do is to take these two exercises where you wrote it down and where you actually took images and put it into a notebook or someplace that you can see it. I want you to video record yourself or audio record yourself. Grab your phone and, and, and take a little selfie video or, or just record yourself. I want you to talk through each one of these 10 different areas. If it was building size, I want you to talk about where you are, what you see others doing, and what your true potential is. I want you to record this. What this is going to do for you, if you do it in all 10 of these areas, is it involved already the writing, it involved that sense, it involved sight. Now, you're going to involve more sight because you're going to spend some time going to research those images. Then you're going to see it frequently. And now what you're going to do is you're actually going to hear it, and you're going to put some thought into this, and you're really going to talk it through. So now you're really on board of this information at least three different ways for at least in, in at least 10 different areas. So now you can start to see your true potential in your own life and really experience it in a real way because you've involved so many senses to get it inside you. So now that it becomes the very fiber of who you are. Do this and I bet you're, starting, you're going to start to feel just how much more potential than that, that you have than you've realized so far and then you see others accomplishing. I think you're going to realize you have so much more than even what you see around you. Do this. And if you need any help doing this, if you need any help running through this, or if you, if you get stuck, or if you want somebody just to audio record you on the phone, whatever help you need, go to drivingforcemastermind.com. We're happy to help you out. Thanks, guys. We'll talk soon. Bye.